Hey guys, welcome to another video. Not really sure if this is going up on a Friday, so can't really say Flossy Friday, but in spirit, Flossy Friday. So I decided it is May 17th. I decided that there is going to be no way in hell that I'm going to remember all this stuff that I got in for the month of, of May um, in the mail or anything that I worked on on my lunch breaks. And also, the last weekend of April before May started, which I didn't, I haven't made a video about yet, I had a finish. And I've had a finish since then. So, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to record probably once every couple of days if I have anything to show. Um, and it's going to kind of be a April wrap-up slash all of May extravaganza. So today is May 17th um, and I have a really hefty pile sitting next to me. I consider it hefty. You might not. I don't know. Um, by the end of this video, it might be a hefty pile. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't have much more coming after this. So anything else that will be shown after this video um, will be like one to three items and just some stitching stuff because I have been trying to work on some stuff on my lunch break. I haven't been as religious about that this month because things have just been crazy at work. Um, but I have gotten some stitching in and I have two finishes to show you. One of them I know you definitely know and you have probably seen on Instagram since it is May 17th and I finished this on the last day of April, April 30th, but it is my Strawberry Fields Forever, and I am in love with this. I finished this in just over a week. Um, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I do have a few mistakes, like this shadow color in the pot is not the right dark color. I was supposed to use the really dark one, like in the bird whatever. Um, so let me just tell you about some of the changes I made. Aside from all the thread colors, some of them are the called for and some of them are the called for but not for the symbol that they were originally called for. Um, and a lot are ones that I picked that were along the same color lines but worked better with my fabric that I created for the entire um, Magical Mystery Tour series. Um, magical mystery tour. I don't think that's it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the Beatles, the Beatles tour series from Blackbird Designs. Um, all of the colors, um, because I finally did update my blog the other day, I finished updating it for April and I updated it for the first two weeks of Stitch Mania. So, um, I just need to update it for the third week of Stitch Mania, but... Um, all of the colors that I used are listed um, on there, or they're in a photograph. So let's just talk about some of the changes. So that was a mistake for sure. Um, and aside from colors, some of the changes that I made, you're supposed to put your initial right here. Um, I didn't. Um, one, I just didn't really want to. I'm not the biggest fan of putting initials. Like it has to be the best, like it has to be the perfect pattern. Um, like a sampler or something, and I know this is sampler-esque, but no. Um, the other thing that I changed is 1992 was kind of weaved in here um, in a light green, and I completely took that out because 1992 was whenever um, she traveled to the Strawberry Field House um, just outside of Liverpool, and... Um, Octopus Garden, Yellow Submarine, The Long Winding Road, all of those have the year the song came out in the pattern. Um, Blackbird will be easy to put in, and Eleanor Rigby, I'm definitely going to change the 1904 to the year that the song came out. Um, I know the 1904 is supposed to be the year that Eleanor Rigby was born, because um, it's kind of like a birth sampler, whatever, but... Um, I'm going to change that. 
So I had to find a place to put the year the song came out, which was 1967. And so I thought it would be really kind of cool if I put it in the gate. So I didn't change anything about the gate other than I added the year in and I matched it with the numbers from the 1992. So I did the one and the nine. I flipped the nine to make the six and then I kind of just took a stab at the seven. Um, but there's a pattern in the part of the gate that I put the numbers in and I didn't change the pattern. I just changed the color if the number was going to cover up that part of the pattern, if that makes sense. Um, cause I wanted to keep, you know, the pink behind the areas that it was meant to go in. So I did that. So it's kind of more of like an address. The other thing that I did that customized this is in the windows of the house, the doors are supposed to be um, the blue. It's actually supposed to be this grayish blue. I used the lighter blue that I was using. Um, but the inside of the windows are all supposed to be the white color. And I wanted that little bit of a pop. So I put the blue in the windows as well. So I'm pretty proud of this. So that is a finish. And I cannot wait to start the next pattern. Um, it's either going to be the Long Winding Road or Eleanor Rigby because those are the patterns that I have. Um, I only have three out of the six at this moment. So I need to get the rest. All right. So the last day of the month, I finished that and I still wanted to stitch on something, but I didn't want to get out um, my Hade quite yet. So I pulled out the 40 count fabric that Tiffany made me buy and I kind of had to like restart this because I was doing it um, two over two and I just couldn't do it. it the, the thread it was just too thick on this for me so I took it all out and I did one over two. So the piece of fabric that I got in the 40 count, there's like this whole chunk that is not modeled. It is from Picture This Plus. I know sometimes this happens. I'm cool with it. But the pattern that I initially wanted to use this piece for, um, this was going to cut into the piece and I, I couldn't, I couldn't handle that. Like, uh, no. So what I did was I start, I'm starting from the bottom starting from the bottom now we're here just kidding all right so I started from the bottom so that way I could work my way up because I didn't want to start too low um, and be too low um, so I started from the bottom um, because I'll be a little less mad if like the very top has a little bit of this less modeled section um, but I started the master and the macabre um, Edgar Allan Poe by the Cricut Collection piece and I am I'm going to be using all different kinds of threads in this um, I showed it in my last video whenever I showed like my threads that I got from the um, stitch in but currently I am using verdigris um, for the lettering um, but I have old covered bridge to work on the mansion and stuff like that. So um, <laughs> I'm going to be changing a lot of the colors um, and doing some really funky stuff in here. Um, I still think that I'm going to make um, the moon, uh, Edgar's little moon face. I still think I'm going to be making the main part of the moon in um glow in the dark thread just because i think that would be really flipping spooky and cool so i started that it's a very small start but i just wanted to get a few stitches in on that um so i'm really 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 liking it because i like the way that it looks um i've already told tiffany this and i've said it a few other times but i don't hate the 40 count but will I ever stitch on it again? Most likely not, um, unless it's a really small piece. Um, I'm already kind of regretting picking um, a pattern with areas of such high coverage. Um, 
it's just, I, I, it's not my cup of tea. Um, I think this pattern is going to look bang on on this. So I'm not mad about it. Um, I'll get through it. My stitching will be a lot slower, but it will look amazing. And, um, yeah, it's just not my favorite and that's totally fine. Okay. So I had been working on a little stitch at work and I've had this since 2014 whenever we did the international love swap and Becca from New York, um, she made everybody these little I love New York kits where she um, did the pattern herself on Excel and she sent the little square of Ada and red and black enough to do the pattern and she also sent a little needle um, and I can't wait to do the here lies my needles because this thing is now totally bent I don't know what kind of needle it is but uh, it did not I was not uh, apparently nice to it so that's gonna be like my first needle to put to rest but I finally finished this I need to find a cute little tiny frame for it but I'm really excited so it's very tiny but it is a finish it's been started for literally four years so finish take a win where you get it right okay so this is another one that I thought I would have the whole stitches finished on um, but I got kind of bored working on it at work. Um, uh, but I don't have much left. I just need to finish the whole stitches on this. And then um, in June, I'm going to do the back stitch. But this is my Michael Powell. So I literally have this much left um, of whole stitches. And it's not even a blend. I have probably enough thread on there to finish it and just get it done. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just need to finish that. And then this will be ready to have the back stitching, um, done. So this is still going to work with me. And the other one, actually I've been having four in my bag. So that way I have an option whenever I'm at work. But the other one that I've actually been working on at work is, um, and I've only worked on it for one day, so there's not a whole lot of progress, but this is my Be Inspired by Stitch Rovia. So I've done like this little corner right here. Um, but if you haven't seen it in a while, this is where this is at. I am trying to do all the black first. Um, I really wanted to do all the black on the first page and then finish the first page, but most of the colors for this pattern are not in my kit, or at least not the last time I looked. So um, I'll need to look again soon and pull the colors that are currently in there. Um, but I wouldn't mind doing all the black at one time um, and then doing the color, but it would be kind of cool to do a page and clear some pages out of there. All right, so I have gotten a few things in the mail. Um, one thing that I did get was this. Um, this didn't come in the mail. One of my friends at my quilt guild, she gave this to me. It's already been done, um, but it's pretty cute. It's a little Mill Hill kit. I've never done a Mill Hill kit, um, so I might give a crack at that at some point. Who knows? Um, but really cute, just the pattern, but, um, she's been like cleaning out her stuff a lot lately. And so anything cross stitch she's found, she's just put my name on it and brought it to me. Another thing, and it took me almost a week to thank Michelle for this. Um, but I have finally thanked her. I just kept forgetting, um, because I got it one of the weeks that life was just crazy. Um, the week before this one. Um, where I was in training for like two straight days and I was just coming home and sleeping. I had gotten this and I had seen it and like I had meant to text and I fell asleep. And then I, I don't know, it's not really a good excuse, but um, we're all good. Um, we talk daily. But this is from the Cross Stitcher, May of 2016. I, she does her... 
um, she gets, you know, magazines from people, and so she rips out the really cute ones and does her little giveaways, and so she just automatically sent this one to me. This is actually a pattern that I've been trying to find, like, a copy of for a really long time. It's called Pandemonium, and it is by, I'm trying to find who it's by, Lucy Heaton. And it's just so freaking cute. I think it was Adele maybe who stitched this originally and she had already gotten rid of the magazine and I about died. And so I had been trying to find this online since then. Um, and I had bought the online pattern of the mag. I don't, there was, and then uh, there was a thing with the patterns online the magazines online and I lost all of the ones that I had previously bought and the company wouldn't do anything. They got bought out. Anyways, I think I made a, there's a, there's a floss tube about it like a year and a half ago. Go check it out. Um, but anyways, so freaking cute. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it, I'm not going to take that out, but it's so freaking cute. Um, so yeah. And she sent me the cutest little card that said, because we send all panda things to Kelly. And yes, yes, <laughs> uh, you do. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to show the next pattern that I got. So I was an idiot and I jumped on one of the days that McKenna was doing a live sale for Little House Needleworks. And I lost out by like that much to another pattern that I really wanted about tea um <laughs> because somebody else said it before me but she spelled it all wrong like it auto corrected so they ended up giving it to her which is totally fine it's not a hard pattern to find I definitely can find it I could definitely find this one too but you know Whenever you're watching McKenna, you just kind of have to. I didn't do the whole because a because a pattern can't travel alone thing, and McKenna definitely made fun of me for it. But I went ahead and I got Little House Needleworks the Beatitudes because I've been wanting this pattern. Um, I think it'll look really good on my wall of prayers and stuff that I'm hoping to put together once. Annalisa is finished so who knows when that will happen um so yeah excited about this and yeah so another thing is is I have the plastic bobbins in my kit for my main strand of that color and I have the entire set except for the new ones and like the really fancy variegated DMC colors that are in like the 4000s. But I have everything from the 100s up to the 3800s. Um, so proud to say that. <laughs> um, oh, actually like the high 40s because I have the original variegated. Anyways, I have my original, my main my main skein on a plastic bobbin so that's like my main one um and then because I've inherited other kits from other people I have a bunch of paper bobbins from them um and if I get impatient and I buy a skein um to finish a pattern because I don't know what whip that color is in um because let's face it I bought that app and I tried to keep up with it and yeah no that's that app is not easy enough to work with for something like that. So all of y'all who make that consistently work, more power to you. But I need like more drop down options and stuff. I don't want to hand type all that shit in. So those of you that take the time, I'm so proud of you. I just, I'm very, I want it done. I want it now. Like I need more drop down options. So that app does not work for me. But, um, so yeah, I will sometimes have like extra skeins and stuff like that, that, um, I need paper bobbins for. And whenever Hobby Lobby was phasing out their paper bobbins, I bought as many packs on clearance as I could because they were like 75 cents for a hundred, um, or no for 50. So I got a thousand cause I'm almost out of those. 
I got a thousand paper bobbins for $13 on Amazon. So I have plenty of bobbins for a while. All right, so the last thing that I got, I got in the mail actually today. Two little unicorny bags. Um, so one of them I actually purchased. Um, he was doing, this is Fabrics by LJ, by the way. Um, he was doing a sale on his fabrics. He did like a surprise flash 40% off sale um, on his fabrics. So I got a couple of the... Um, I've never tried his floss, so I got a couple of his flosses because um, I wanted to try them. So this is 10 yards of six-ply cotton unicorn tail. This one is Shirley Temple. Um, I got it, one, because the color is really pretty, and also because I love Shirley Temple, and I love Shirley Temples. And not dirty Shirley's. I like virgin ones. <laughs> Dirty ones are good too, but um, I can't have vodka, so I can't drink them anymore. But like Virgin Shirley Temples, I'm really nice. Um, <laughs> I also got Grape Stomp, which I'm guessing is from January. This one doesn't have a date. Um, so really, really, really nice. I really liked this um, for that Lila Studio um, Bless Us prayer. Um, the bless us, O Lord. There's a lot of grapes in that. I thought that would be really cool. And there's a couple of patterns that I want to make for Christmas for uh, Jackie that has, um, they're like wine themed. So I thought this would be a really, really nice one to incorporate in some of those. Um, and then I got this one just because it was really pretty. This is, I guess, another like special one from January because it has a date on it. But it's teal agate. at ag I, I don't know. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Um, and so the fabric that I got, I'm going to put these back in this little baggie. <laughs> the fabric that I got is called Sandstorm, which I'm pretty sure that I have a piece of this, but I decided this time to get this in 32 count Jobelin because I've never tried his fabric other than Ada. So I thought, why not? So this is the piece that I got. It's really pretty. And it's Jobelin, which is like my new like linen favorite. So I wanted to get a piece of his fabric in my favorite, my favorite linen-y fabric, not Ada fabric basically. Um, okay, and then the second package from him I did not buy, but if you were a part of his Easter egg hunt, I won one of the fabrics from that um, for guessing one of the trivia questions correctly. So this is called Easter Teal. So he had three colors. He had a pink, a teal, and a green, and I happened to win the teal one, which I was really excited about because I really liked this one. I could... I really liked all three of them, but as far as like things that I typically stitch, I could see myself using this one way before the other two colors. So I got this one. This is probably trying to find a more true, that's more true to color right there. Like right there. So that's really fun. It's a 14 count Ada and it's, but it's 17 by 24 in size. So I can do a couple of small things on it. I could do like one really big thing or a couple medium sized things. So that is all that I have to show for right now. So um, I have, I have for sure my fabric of the month coming um, and I have, so that should be here probably by the end of this weekend. And I have a, another pattern. I'm really excited about it coming, I'm hoping by the end of this week, because she said that she was gonna ship it on Monday. And I I had sworn I'm not, I wasn't gonna buy any patterns this month because I wasn't gonna be able to start anything. But oh my God, the, the new, um, yeah. I need the new um, square for the farmhouse Christmas, Little House Needleworks. 
Um, it's, it's not out yet, but it's going to be the quilt square. So I'm definitely getting that one. I want the new chalk on the farm. I really want the, the re-release from Kathy Haberman of the quilt hanging with the barn in the background with the barn quilt. I don't think I will stitch the saying on it um, because it doesn't need to be about 4th of July for me. Um, but as far as the pattern goes, I really love it. And also the Plum Street, the new Noah's Ark series, Noah's Ark 3 came out. So I need that. It's super cute. It's squirrels and whales. And I'm kind of like, eh, about the squirrels. Like, I'll do them. But like the whales, oh my god, they're so freaking cute. Um, I can't even wait. So I know that I have a couple of things on my wish list. <laughs> um, but definitely going to be waiting to get those. So, um... Like I said, I for sure have two more things coming, um, and then anything else will be progress that I make on at work over the next two weeks. And they're they're gonna just it'll be the next clip, so I don't even know why I'm trying to like end this. You're you're gonna see it. So in a minute. So it's the second half of May, and I have a couple of purchases and some other stuff that I have finished. So. First thing I've purchased is Cactus Cat from Satsuma Street. She released this about a week ago, maybe. This has to be started. This has to be done. And I'm thinking it's going to happen on my free piece of fabrics by LJ Ada. I think that'll be beautiful on like that blue because this pattern is nothing but like bright pinks and greens and purples and oranges and yellows. There's a little bit of blue in there, but not a whole lot. And if it clashes too much, I'll just change it. So really excited about that. I might start that today. Eek. All right. So the other pattern that I got, um, I've been looking for this everywhere and it's really hard to find. So I messaged the owner um, and designer creator of Silver Creek Samplers on Facebook asking her if this was like a limited edition, if it was just that old, and is there a way that I could get my hands on a copy? And so she sold it to me. So this is Silver Creek Samplers. Um, Holy Moses is what it's called. It's huge. It's 128 by 575. But it is the Ten Commandments. Um, and it talks about, um, okay, so it says, High upon the mountain sod, Moses heard the voice of God. Holy Moses split the sea so Israelites could go free. And then it has the Ten Commandments all the way down. Um, and then at the bottom it says, God said to Moses, go speak to the Pharaoh um, demanding that he let my people go, ba baby Moses set afloat in a tiny basket boat. I feel like this, these are out of order, <laughs> which slightly bothers me, but it'll be okay. What is happening on my phone? My dad is sending me emails. Fab. Okay. So I'm really excited to have this. Um, it looks like it's a couple of pages. Um, also, there's an alphabet for personalization because um, I think there's a year or something somewhere in here. Anyways, if you want to do that. So if you want to change in, up anything or personalize it in any way, you can. Um, so really excited about that. All right, so let's get to some of the stitching. I did work a tiny bit on my Lizzie Kate, um, wouldn't it be nice? Or wouldn't it be great? Um, and I worked on this one day at lunch, so I started the word confusing, and I did almost the entire word tomorrow. Um, it is the same, um, maple syrup, but this is the darkest skein of the, out of the one that I had and the two that Tiffany gifted me, 
Um, so I have just enough of the other one that is more of the gray that I'm going to like kind of mix in a little bit for the second half of the pattern. Um, but I'm almost to the little grassy area and then, yeah, so it's, I'm excited. I've been wanting to get this one back out. I really want to finish it. I love the colors that I picked for this. Um, I'm just having fun working on it. Another one that I got out to play with is my um, Busby Designs, my Plague Doctor. I finished filling in the other colors in this bottom half of his jacket, and I've been working on this middle section of his jacket. Um, I did a little bit of this at work, but it was a little bit too hard, so I worked on this in the evenings. Um, if you want to know the story about that, go watch my final Beastly Unsaved Rabbit Hole video that I posted also today on my channel. It's only like seven and a half, eight minutes long, so definitely worth the watch. But I kind of talk about why I slacked off on my Hade the last week and a half of um, Hade Mania. And he's kind of what I was kind of working on the last couple of days of the month. Um, because my attention span just wasn't enough for my Hade. So I talked about that a little bit more in that video. So go check that one out. I know double dose today and a day late. What are you going to do? So, um, yeah, I really, really, really like him. I did have a mess up somewhere, um, along the way, um, which I've known about. So I'm just, there's a few little spots that I'm having to fudge. But it's random confetti, so it's a little bit easy to fudge it. But um, can't wait to finish this little area because then I can get rid of another page and start working on the other side of his body, which is the larger portion of his body because his beak is going to come down about right here. And then I have most of the hat and the rest of the jacket with the buttons. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, another thing that I got um this month was or in may it was my fabric of the month club um from um oh my gosh why can i never remember where i get this club from one of the shops in baltimore why can i never remember this i don't understand needle craft corner Jeez. okay um, so this is some of the freebie that I got. This is Paisley's and Posies. None of these I really like enough to like keep in my arsenal to do. So I'm probably going to go away. Um, this is Spring Blossoms by Bright Needle and Plant Seeds by La Tida. The next one is Spring Has Sprung um, by Thistles and... Three Daisies by Rosewood Manor. And this one says, Spring has come when you can put your foot on three daisies. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then the last one in the little pack is called Cheerful Daffodil Bookmark by Hand Blessings. That's cute. All right. So the fabric that I got this month, I got Oaken. So a really nice piece of Oaken and our free gift this month, I'm actually really excited about, but let me just show you a little bit more of Oaken. So really nice, nice neutral. So our free gift that we got this month is a keychain snap off back makes finishing easier. So it's this little circle, it's a keychain and the back pops off. And you can put whatever kind of fabric and stitch a little something and put it on your keys. So that's really cute. Um, might have to do this. It says, perfect for cross-stitch photos, paper artwork by Yarntree.com. So that was this month's gift. I think that is so freaking cute. Um, oh, I just popped the back in. Didn't mean to. All right, so I can't, uh, this is going to be fun. Um, I got to find something worthwhile that's really small or that I can do over one maybe if I'm trying not to die. Um, and <laughs> do something really cute. Put it on my keys. I think that'd be neat. And we have, oh my God, a finish, okay? 
So this is one of the other ones that I started working on at work towards the end of the month. And um, this is the one that I talk about in my Hade video that also went up today um, that I worked on over the weekend, last weekend, um, because I just needed a break for my Hade and then it kind of carried over into the week. And so I finished my Halloween cat by Satsuma Street. So how cute. How cute. I had to make um, one or two color adjustments in the blues for the trees. And then um, I stole some $37.99 and some $548, $458. I don't know. This gray color for the whiskers and the ears. Stole that one for my Hade and my $7.99 for my Harry Potter, <laughs> my giant Harry Potter. So, um, and I don't know where all the other blues were, but some of them ended up back in my kit. I also changed the green for the eyes um, because I was just so close to having this done and I just wanted it finished. So I changed a couple of the colors. Um, I found out uh, some of the, I couldn't really compromise on the colors for the cats because um, I, <laughs> They're very unique and they wouldn't have gone with the other colors that I had already stitched for them. So um, anyways, finally finished this. So my whip count got down to 38 this month and this is my eighth finish for this year, which is really exciting. Um, but I am probably going to start that Satsuma Street Cactus Cat today. So back up to 39, but you know what? It'll be worth it because that cat is so stinking cute so um anyways i will see y'all in next week's video it will be a regular floss two video and i'm working still on some other stuff so i hope that y'all are, are okay with me taking some time off from some of my other types of videos um i still am going to make a quilt video um i don't know if i'm still gonna make a fitbit one or not i have been wearing it i have been loving it um Maybe I'll just do like an update type thing about, I don't know. I film stuff, but I just, I feel like it's been too long now, but we'll see. Um, and also some minimalism videos are coming up as well as some decluttering videos. Um, but like I said, I'm still in the process of a lot of some of those. So bear with me and thanks for joining. And I hope that you all have a great weekend and stitching week. I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.